you guys understand, you all can only do it together. As much as you want to compete against a teammate, compete. Then pick his ass up and beat him again. Make him better. Make him better. I try to have this concept of win every day. You know, I tell our kids, we're gonna win every day and win every practice. All right, baseline, baseline, let's go. You really want to be great? Maybe I can show you. He's still coaching, and at the age of 77, it's not about the three national titles or more than 800 Division I wins. It's about teaching a group of kids how to play the game better, how to play together better, how to be better. When I put that whistle on, I knew it right away. And I had the same desire about making me good to making them good. And that really, really excited me. Jim Calhoun's been coaching basketball for more than 50 years. He turned UConn into one of the best programs in the country. But alongside the success came reminders of how quickly it could all be taken away. There were four battles with cancer, and in 2012, he retired. We all have moments of quit in us, but I want to go out on my terms. So therefore, I'm going to fight this. And I did chemo for a year and a half. And then I got this magic window where they said chemotherapy's working. Every action in life has a reaction. And my purpose, at least proven, I think I am, pretty good at dealing with kids. So when the University of St. Joseph in West Hartford, Connecticut, called for help and said they were starting a Division III basketball program, Coach Calhoun surprisingly wanted the head coaching job. I feel reinforced now and great that I can make a difference. He enjoys being on the floor and interacting with the student athletes every day. They gotta feel your breath. Get into that. He doesn't treat them any different at St. Joe's than he did at UConn. He's just as competitive, just as enthusiastic. A startup program with 11 freshmen made the challenge only bigger. And even as he battled another bout with cancer, Coach Calhoun led the Blue Jays to the playoffs. Just another group of kids to teach, mold, and inspire for the coach still doing what he's meant to do. Close by the defender. The hoist at the buzzer. Here he goes. Slap. It's good. I watched us run to the playoffs this year. I can tell you, I got goosebumps just the same as I did when I coached 79,000 people to win a national championship. There's your night. No, we'll yeah. yeah. So what time is there? Yeah. 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 What time is there? Through every win and every loss, the mission is always the same, to teach these kids that you keep fighting just like he does every day. I'm proud of you and I love you. I, I mean it very honestly. Well, those guys give me the ultimate feeling of being a part of their lives. Being a part of their lives. How incredible is that? Life is about purpose. I never went to work. I don't have a job, my coach.